Ahoy hoy, and welcome to my Christmas beer. Wait, no. Uh, dank memes from Site19 memes? Yeah, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> this beard is getting a little unruly. The worst part is that the mustache, mustache is now... I'm touching the mustache, so it actually like cur and it curves in. So it's actually... <laughs> I really need to trim my uh, beard. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Today we're going to go over some of the uh, dankest memes from uh, Dank Memes from Site19. Let's get started. Fritz and SCP-555, Eurasia and Acid, Water Gun at the Fear Behind the Deck, and Fire, Roll for Accuracy, Dr. Wondertainment, it's a one. Fritz, you fire at the figure, only hitting the cover he was behind. Dr. Wondertainment, that's not so bad. Fritz, he shoots you six times in the chest. I have actually, honestly... Uh, really gotten back into Dungeons and Dragons since I used to play it a, well I used to play it as a difficult way to put that uh, I played it for a few sessions some years ago maybe five to seven and then when I was a teenager so I've been playing it off and on since I was like 15 and that's almost 20 years now uh, but I've really gotten into it kind of hardcore I got three games rolling right now a Saturday game every other Saturday and a uh, a Monday game and I'm actually DMing one of the two Saturday games that I'm playing uh, so uh, yeah it's a lot oh yeah I've been seeing these floating around I don't know what these are or why they exist but it's cool I guess I mean the art's really nice I really like the art I just don't know what the why these little like chibi looking things but it's padora or something like that i honestly don't know what these are i just know that it's art of my character and of course that means i like it when you get infected with scp 008 but you have scp 500 oh no anyway <laughs> now i'm imagining like an <laughs> A regular person going through the villager curing animations from Minecraft when you turned them from a uh, a zombie villager into a regular villager. In fact, this meme would have made more sense if you'd have done it that way. I think if you'd uh, done the uh, the villager thing. Anyway, F Keter duty. I'm taking you to a Polyon duty. Um. <clears throat> I remember I was reading the comments to this about how a poly on duty must be like mentally challenged, like mentally problematic for people. And they like have to, you know, get, they need a lot of, uh, let's say, therapy to deal with the problems. And if they don't get it, they may have to resort to things like drugs and alcohol. But <laughs> like, I feel like people misunderstand what Keter and a poly on really mean. Maybe a little bit less so for a poly on, but there are plenty of Keter SCPs, which are probably pretty relaxing to work for. So this whole, oh my god, I'm stuck working for Keter SCPs, I'm gonna die. Why? Most of them are harmless. Mostly harmless, anyway. Families and friends of anomalous humans exist. SCP writers. Okay, get in. I know, I think this is about, like, using, yeah, using family and friends of anomalous humans to uh, raise the stakes, usually by killing them. Uh... Which is a very valid criticism of, I don't know about current, because I'm not exactly up to date on the current SCP trends. Uh, but definitely overall on the SCP Wiki, a serious uh, problem. And I say problem, because not because it's a bad necessarily trope, but because it's so overused at this point that it's like lost most of its impact. To me, anyway. Problem is a writer doesn't get that, because to them, the piece they're working on is the most important thing, right? They look at it and be like, oh, well, these characters matter because of the story I'm writing. But there is something to be said for the overall problem of you read six of these in a row. By the sixth one, you kind of just write off the family and friends because you know what's going to happen to them. Something to consider. When will the amnestics kick in, researcher? They usually take effect within seconds. I don't remember asking you a god damn thing i loved this one uh because it took me like like a half a beat to figure the joke out i was like what's why is that funny and then i was like oh yeah because he forgot that he asked about when the <laughs> sticks would kick in because they just kicked in 
uh, and explaining the joke makes it far funnier, of course. How the article sounded in my head. Big and bloated. How the article came out. Uh, understated and subtle. Oh, well, good for you. Nice. I guess it's just about writing a successful article. When you find a new SCP to read, the link is purple. You don't remember reading it. It's tagged as anti-mimetic. I actually do really love these, um, love SCPs that are built like this. And I think I've, I think I've done some that maybe have, like, the, the kind that uh, supposedly affect the reader and, like, give the reader <clears throat> out of universe some sort of effect, you know, uh, usually through format screws or just fiddling with code or something like that. But I, I absolutely love not just to read these kinds of things, but to do these kinds of things to people in SCP articles. Understand. Well, the jailers at least purchase with cold, meticulous curiosity. The book burners would rather see us gutted and slain, left lying in the gutters to be swept away as trash. Needless to say, we delight in ruining their plans. Bonk. You know, I had an interesting idea for an SCP uh, where the uh, Wanderer's Library itself is the SCP and the SCP Foundation, whilst ne not necessarily welcome there, are also acting to protect them from the GOC and various other extra normal threats simply because it's an anomalous object and it has to be protected. I think that could be a lot of fun. The ethics committee, when the O5 cancel tries to gain immortality for the fourth time this year, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Uh, I mean, the Ethics Committee doesn't really have much power outside of what the O5 Council gives it. It's like, I mean, yeah, it's an admin, but <clears throat> it's not like if the O5 Council, I mean, in some kind of canon, certainly, but in general sense, the Ethics Committee can't really tell the O5 Committee what to do. They just give them recommendations. Anyway, uh, but some canons, this is definitely accurate. Let's see here. Oh, is that the last one? It is the last one. Nice. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. There weren't a lot of memes this week, so I had a bit of a trouble digging through to find uh, to find the good ones. Uh, thank you very much to Yossi Posse, who uh, uh, I believe is a moderator on the subreddit, and also compiles these lists for me. Uh, without him, I would probably take much, much, much longer to make these videos, so I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button, Caden. Then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted, who has pledged $100. And I would like to thank for buying me Cyberpunk 2077 for some reason. I really appreciate that. Uh, and uh, Sinjariki, who has also pledged $100. And my dungeon master for one of my Saturday games, Morgan. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.